Good morning, YouTube, my precious brothers and sisters, you beautiful, beautiful bride adorned for her husband. Let me ask you something this morning, June the 3rd, 2013, do you have your bridal gown all prepared? Is it without spot? Is it without wrinkle this morning? Have you gotten all your bridesmaids all together? Are you waiting for the next major event to take place? I'm not talking about the next hurricane, the next tropical storm, the next tornado, the next earthquake. We are told by Jesus himself, Yeshua, Matthew 24, these things must happen. See that you are not troubled. There will be earthquakes in diverse places, wars and rumors of wars, famines and pestilence. But I don't know about you, but I'm waiting on the next major event. And I'm not troubled by the birth pains because we know that these things must happen. And we find comfort if we only follow, come out of the world and follow the teachings of Jesus of Yeshua. He tells us to not be troubled, that these things must happen. But the end is not yet. There is an event that's about to take place, but the church today is so focused on things of the world, the birth pain that Yeshua told us uh, to not be troubled over. We're being troubled over that. We're wondering and who's we're following on YouTube that is really hyping up all the calamities, all the earthquakes, all the tornadoes, all the wildfires. It's tornado season. It's devastating. It's heartbreaking. The uh, tornadoes that have now gone over from Oklahoma now to the uh, East Coast and wildfires in California. But we are not to be troubled. Let's have our coffee. Then I want to open up with prayer. Are you looking? Are you focused in the right areas? Are you focused in the right place? Are you focused on your family? On your children? On your marriage to build a strong union? Are you focused on the one that is going to come and break open the sky? Let's have our coffee. All right, let us pray. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on the church today. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on the unsaved. Heavenly Father, we come to you today with thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this ministry on YouTube, and I ask that you use me, Father, in a powerful way. Father, I ask that each and every person that views this video today this ministry, that they feel your presence, that the Holy Spirit just come upon them and they do feel your presence, and then that they are blessed, that they are touched by you, Father, in a powerful way where they know it is you in all your majesty and all your glory, that you are doing a work in them. Let them feel your comfort, your love, and your presence this day and every day in Yeshua's precious name. Amen and amen. All right, brothers and sisters. Now, let me, in case you've noticed, I feel a little better. Um, I believe it's bronchitis. I don't run to the doctor. <laughs> but uh, I'm not coughing as much, and I feel a little bit better. Still some chest congestion. But now, in case you noticed, I got a sty in my eye. I got a sty in my eye. All right, church ladies. No, I don't mean church ladies. Oh, my goodness. Uh, sisters, I won't say church ladies, sisters, uh, got any home remedies? I've been putting a warm tea bag on my eye, but uh, you know, it really doesn't bother me. It's not painful. I don't even notice it. I wouldn't have even known except we were working our ministry over the weekend, and uh, Christy said, you've got a bump on your eye. You've got a sty. So I guess it's like a pimple. I don't know. At my age, getting a pimple on my eye is in an odd place. Uh, so if you have any, let me up in prayer, but if you have any home remedies besides putting a tea bag on my eye, it kind of, seems kind of strange to me. Let me know. A lot going on. Uh, let's go to news. What's going on in Turkey? Now, let me bring you what I can of the story. I love coming out here in the morning with you guys. Hold on, hold on. 
Did we have our coffee? We did. I got a sty in my eye. Oh no, I got a sty in my eye. Oh my goodness, Pastor Dave. More coffee. All right. Let's go to Turkey. Let's see what's happening in Turkey. But do not be troubled. See that you are not troubled. Why is the church so troubled? Why do we chase and follow everyone on YouTube that really puts it out there like it is the end of the world? What is the old saying? Chicken little, the sky's falling. The sky's not falling yet. A lot more has to take place in end time Bible prophecy. One thing has to happen. Uh, and we are at that point, and that's why I don't see, I, I can't see why the church isn't excited. We're watching one video on YouTube after the other, and breaking news, and the massive killer tornadoes, and this is it, and an asteroid is going to hit Earth. I told you the asteroid wasn't going to do anything, didn't it? Don't put your trust in me. Don't put your faith in me. Put your trust and faith in your Father in Heaven and in your kinsman, redeemer, the lion of the tribe of Judah, in Yeshua. He said, do not be troubled. Why, church, are you troubled? It's almost like you want a disaster. Why? I want to go home. I want to go home. That's where I want to go. In Turkey, Turkey's president, it's a, a Turkey protest 2013 Violence flares on fourth day of anti-government demonstrations. And I'll bring you just a little bit of this. There is so much going on in the world today. I'm going to try to come back. I've got a lot to do today. Uh, I wish I could just sit here on YouTube and just bring one video after the other. But I do have to work my ministry. Turkey's president on Monday defended the right of citizens to protest in strong contrast to the dismissive stance of the prime minister as police used tear gas for a fourth day in an attempt to disperse demonstrations that grew out of a sit-in to prevent the uprooting of trees at Istanbul's main square. Turkey has been hit by demonstrations since Friday, sparked by anger over excessive police force against protesters holding a sit-in against redevelopment of Istanbul's main uh, Taksim Square. The demonstrations spiraled into Turkey's biggest anti-government disturbances and years challenging Prime Minister, I hope I pronounced his name right, Recep Tayyip uh, Erdogan's power. The protests were seen as a display of frustration against er Erdogan, who had appeared to be increasingly author authoritarian, I can't even talk this morning, authoritarian, and, and is accused of meddling in all aspects of life. And some of this was a sort of ban affection on the streets. No hugging, no kissing. One I kind of agree with is a ban on uh, alcohol. I think it's from 10 o'clock, uh, a curfew, 10 o'clock p.m. to like 6 in the morning. But I think the people are feeling their rights are being infringed on. Um, on Monday, Erdogan, I hope I pronounced his name right, again dismissed the street protests as being organized by extremists, describing and uh, described them rather as a temporary blip and angrily rejected com comparisons with the Arab Spring uprisings. Appearing uh, defensive and angry, he lashed out at reporters who asked whether the government had understood the message by protesters who, or whether he would soften his tone. What is the message? Question mark. I want to hear it from you. Uh, he reported. What can a softened tone be like? Can you tell me, he said. He spoke to reporters before leaving on what was planned to be a 40-day trip to Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. And I'm going to put the link below. But, uh, and he is trying to say it's not, nothing like the Arab Spring. Well, let me find a, another article for you I want to touch on this morning. There's more. If I can come back, because I want to do a series not a series, I'm going to do a good teaching video, I'm going to do it in one part, I think. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. On uh, 
baptism of the Holy Spirit and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Because I want to clear the air on a couple things. So you don't uh, get me wrong. Damaging storms move through the East Coast. And that's going to happen. It's tornado season. Uh, it's wildfires are out of control in California. And it's, no one, it's not a prophecy. Not that today we don't have dreams and visions. We do and prophesy. We do. But it's getting out of control. A lot of these things are uh, they seem abnormal, but for the time of year, it's tornado season, it's the time of year we're going to have wildfires. And I'm not trying to um, diminish the birth pains whatsoever. They are in full swing. But we've got to be careful with prophecy. We've got to be careful with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Um, I'm trying to find there's an article coming out of China where this, uh, I believe it's a poultry factory in 116 Paris. Now this is news, but is this end time Bible prophecy news? This is a terrible, terrible accident. I don't want to come, if you're coming here and you just want me to tickle your ears and to, I, I, I can't do that. I love you too much to not bring you the truth. Stay tuned, everyone. I will be back today. There's so much going on, and I do want to touch on the gifts of the Holy Spirit, baptism of the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues. Now, and it's not to offend anyone. We're going to get a little bit deeper into that. But we already covered through the book of Acts. Let's say I'm gathered here, but I have viewers in France. Maybe I have some viewers in Japan. And maybe I have... Uh, viewers from watching the conflict in North Korea and South Korea. All right, and then I I get moved by the Holy Spirit. Now you that are not from, you're not native of Japan, of France, or of South Korea. Uh, to you, it may sound like some uh, angelic uh, tongue that I'm speaking in. But what if I were to say? Just for example, Merci Dami Amagato Kamha Sanita. Merci Dami Amagato Kamha Sanita. Doesn't that sound pretty strange because you can't interpret what I just said? Merci Dami Amagato Kamha Sanita. Kamha Sanita. Dami Amagato. Merci, Merci Dami Amagato Kamha Sanita. But I'm actually speaking in tongues. I'm speaking in a foreign tongue. We're going to cover a lot more of that later. I love you all very much. Kamha Sanita.